to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma following shoulder surgery demetrius johnson is eyeing a july showdown with tj dillashaw now he's eyeing a july showdown but we all saw the twitch some of us some of you guys might not have we saw the twitch when demetrius johnson fucking was celebrating like oh shit i just won this oh shit my, my fucking shoulder what I just oh shit did you guys see oh shit <laughs> We saw Demetrius Johnson at post show, like 10 days after his surgery, almost rip his fucking shoulder out of its socket, celebrating a video game win, and that was all fun and games, but it's looking like, and as I said, um, he still had time, even with that, all jokes aside, he still's got plenty of time to fight TJ Dillashaw in this super fight where TJ Dillashaw is going to be trying to come down 10 pounds and take Demetrius Johnson, the number one pound for pound fighter in the UFC's belt. Now, there's a lot of so much stuff going into this fight we've talked about and we could keep talking about and we probably will continue to talk about leading up to July where this fight should happen. This fight has been building now for almost over a year since whenever TJ Dillashaw was originally scheduled to face Cody Garbrandt and the Cody Garbrandt had the back injury so they did the ultimate fighter but TJ Dillashaw before the ultimate fighter was like yo since I gotta wait on Cody Garbrandt how about I go down and take DJ's belt that was almost over a year ago we saw since then uh, Cody Garbrandt healed up him and TJ fought TJ won the belt Demetrius Johnson defended his title versus Ray Borg with the mighty bar and now it's looking like we might get the official champion versus champion clash we've been waiting for for over 12 months but it's going to be after the 16 weeks TJ Dillashaw needs that he said to make weight and also however much time Demetrius Johnson needs to heal up from his shoulder surgery. So with that being said, it's looking like the fight will happen. We do know Demetrius Johnson wants it to be on a big card, so that's why he's targeting possibly July. On top of that being when he's going to be healed up. But July is usually when it's international fight week. We know we might have like um, Chris Cyborg versus Amanda Nunes champion versus champion at international fight week. Of course, last year, 2017, International Fight Week wasn't as big as it usually is, but that's because there was a little bit of a lull in the UFC as a whole um, in 2017. All of the huge stars were out, so even when it came to International Fight Week, it wasn't as stacked as usually. But if you just go back, normally the UFC was International Fight Week. You've got big fight after big fight after big card, maybe three UFC cards in one week, and they're all stacked. And so it's looking like that might be when we have Amanda Nunes versus Chris Cyborg and TJ Dillashaw versus Demetrius Johnson, on top of probably Steve Miocic versus Fabricio Verdun, on top of probably Tyron Woodley versus Rafael. There's so many champions in the UFC that could fight during international fight week as of right now but this is probably one of the biggest fights champion versus champion and so a lot of us can't wait now it's going to be some time which means of course anything can happen demetrius johnson could get in another game of PUBG and tear his other fucking show oh shit i just won fuck god oh all right or tj dillashaw could maybe have weight cutting issues you got to keep in mind tj dillashaw has never been to 125 pounds in his ufc career now, since Demetrius Johnson doesn't want to go up, he's being forced to go down. Now, of course, TJ Dillashaw does have the option of going up 10 pounds and fighting Max Holloway for the title, but he said he realistically can probably make 125 pounds, and if he takes the right way where he wants to keep his strength and, you know, go down the right way to where he doesn't kill his body, it's going to take him 16 weeks to where he's not just water loading and going into the fight versus the number one pound for pound fighter on the planet, a shell of himself. He's going to cut great weight the right way that way he'll still be the tj dillashaw we all know and love and a lot of us believe can beat demetrius johnson and and now that's another conversation for another day i have to admit at 125 pounds i'm probably picking demetrius johnson if demetrius was going up i'd probably pick tj but it's just, for me we're just yet to see how tj dillashaw is going to look at 125 pounds and he's not just coming down and fighting a contender he's coming down to a new weight class where so he's already gonna be and even if he's cutting weight the right way so he's not gonna be a shell of himself he's already gonna be a little weaker than normal as a t you know 10 pounds lower so it's just 
a lot of uncharted territory for TJ Dillashaw to be going down and not just fighting a contender, fighting not just the champion, but the number one pound for pound fighter in the UFC. So it's going to, TJ Dillashaw's got his uh, tough task on top of the weight cut. So we'll see what happens. Um, but Demetrius Johnson said he's, I, it's looking like the fight will probably happen in July. And that's good news because before this, we really hadn't had Demetrius Johnson like confirm that was the next fight. He's talked about whether it's pay per view issues or just a big car or the fact that TJ Dillashaw needs to prove himself at 125. Demetrius Johnson has kind of gave us multiple reasons that he didn't really want this fight initially, kind of like Chris Cyborg. Initially, she was like, sorry, Amanda Nunes isn't big enough of a draw. She doesn't fight at this weight. Demetrius Johnson and Chris Cyborg kind of were in the same boat, but it's looking like they're both going to be taking the fights, and we're going to get some champion versus champion super fights. So let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. Bye, Felicia.